presenting Cat Chats. This episode of Cat Chats has been filmed at the Guitar Player Lair. This is me, your host, interviewing Andy Berman. So, Andy. You have uh, quite a story as to how you uh, were able to bring your cat, a little bee, into your life. Isn't that so? That's so. Uh, there was like a van passing by, I guess it was like a family of five or something, and they just threw him out the window. And then he just ran up to me, ran into my arms, and I, I was on the street smoking a cigarette, and I was like, okay, you want to live here? Might as well. And so it came to pass that from someone else's cruelty, you have this precious little cat. Exactly. Can you tell us a little bit about what uh, your uh, cat ownership before that had been? Did you have any other cats in your house? No. How has it been owning Little Bee? It's been a struggle. I mean, it's been good. It's been ups and downs, but I guess it's worth it. It's good to have a cat in the house, but he's a street cat. He's wild, so mm. he likes to tear things apart. He shredded a lot of my stuff. He tore some speaker cables that were essential to me. You also have the ability to shred certain things. Is that I, true? I you do. can shred something for us. <laughs> you are a musician by trade, is that the case? Yeah. What have sort of changes have you seen in your style since Little Bee has come to be a part of your life? I guess I'm more like a cat now. I like to claw things. I like to claw people on the street. No! in a neighborhood where I don't really see that people would enjoy being clawed. Of course, nobody enjoys being clawed. Some people do. Yes, some people. But, you know, we're a little bit of cat crazies ourselves if we enjoy being clawed. Let's take a look at Little Bee. This is Little Bee. What do you and Little Bee like to do together, Andy? We just talk about what's going on in our lives. He's just interested in food, eating food all the time. All that. Yeah, no, he's, yeah. he's cool. I've also heard that uh, you, you two may be going through a bit of a rough patch because uh, maybe perhaps has started uh, spraying around the house. Is that is that the case? Yeah, he's going to be fixed. I mean, sadly. Yes. He, he, something has to go, Ruby. <laughs> no! Well, that's great. How did you come up with the name, Little B? Um, well, his full name is Baxter Jackson. Little right. B is his name. But okay. I call him that. That's what he responds to. Little B. Oh, he's hiding. Would you ever um consider bringing Little B to any of your shows? Or to attend the show or be part of the show? Well, either or. I don't know what you think his uh, performance capability is. Yeah. I don't know. We gotta see what see what he goes. You know? Okay. We definitely planted. Oh my goodness, sweetie, sweetie. He's Can afraid. We definitely planted a seed in my imagination. Well, that's very exciting. When I'm not in the house, it's cute because I know he's looking after the house when I'm gone. Before he was here to look after the house, did you feel that there was maybe some sort of uh, emptiness when you were not here to fill it? I mean, there was more ghosts back then. They used to just come to me and talk to me about different things. But since he's oh. been here, no more ghosts. Yeah. When he first moved here, he was like, you know, a standard Puerto Rican um, street cat, um, sure. fa family, sure. he likes to hit the piñata, so I just hope he doesn't get carried away, I don't want to be a bad influence on him. I'm sure you're not, Andy. The two of you influence each other, and that together, yes. you, you grow. He's a good cat, just like, I feel like he's gonna blossom as the years go by. I was so hateful, and thanks to your care, your kindness, music, a little bit. Thank you very much.